Hi drummers, hope you're well. I'm just going to talk a little bit here about Grade 2 Trinity Rock and Pop Improvising from Session Skills. Now at Grade 2, all the same things apply at Grade 1 in terms of rock music, pop music and the ballad uh, feel and how to, how to play those. So I've done a little video about Grade 1 already, you might want to check that one out. Basic, super quick recap, pop music, if you're playing in 4-4 four, four, this is pop music, usually a nice closed hi-hat or playing on the ride. Nice straightforward beat, uh, nice, nice and groovy, nice simple rock beat, few variations, few little fills, keep it all in time, lovely, you're sorted. Uh, rock music, especially heavy rock, we're going to be maybe, tra maybe trashy hi-hat here, maybe riding on the crash. Nice and light, could well be a side stick on the snare. Nice and soft, and again, nice and light, and especially on the fills, keep it light. In all of those three styles, show a bit of progression, maybe go from hi hat to ride at some point, keep it all in time. Play some nice fills and you'll be in business. Now at grade two, there's two sort of new things to consider. One is the musical style of country. Now they don't give a huge amount of guidance here in the, uh, in the notes or in the syllabus. Safe to say that they make a really great point actually. Country music is music where the, 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 song, the, the, song, the songwriter or the singer is telling a story. And often our role as drummers is to not get in the way of that. In other words, play something simple. So we're going to keep it simple, not be too busy and uh, certainly not get in the way too much. That's the thing. Um, the thing with country music, you know, I think is, well, you get country ballads, obviously, you get country rock music in a big way, and you get lots of country music which resembles pop, pop music, especially these days, Taylor Swift and all that. Um, so all of the same things apply. The thing with it is it doesn't really tell you which one. So if it says country on your little, um, on your little chord chart, the thing to do is use your ears, you know, have a listen. What's going to be most appropriate here? Is it going to be the ballad type of approach where you're doing a side stick, probably, or a nice light sound? Is it, is it a bit more sort of poppy? Has it got a bit more of sort of forward momentum, a bit more groove to it? Or is it, you know, full on rock? Is there distorted guitar in there? In which case, brilliant, obviously, rock it up a bit more. So use your ears, respond to the music. There also isn't one necessarily way of doing it, and there also isn't necessarily one way of doing it all the way through. So you might start with the pop and then go to rock. Maybe you might start with a ballad and progress it to like a, a more of a pop feel as you go along. So it's some combination of the things really that we've done already. Don't play too much, don't go too over the top and uh, just yeah, support the music without overpowering it, that's the thing. That's with country. Now there's a, a new uh, time signature well, as well which can apply to any uh, musical style and that's 3-4. So what I'm going to talk about here is what sort of beat will be played in 3-4, how are the drum fills go. Well the top number in the time signature, in this case 3, tells you how many beats are in each bar and the bottom number tells you what type of beat is one beat. So three beats per bar, each beat is a quarter note or a crotchet. In other words, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now the truth is there are actually quite a lot of ways of doing this. Uh, one thing I like to do with, with guys who are first getting into this at the start, if they're looking for guidance, is to think about a 4-4 four, four rock beat. Four crotchet beats in the bar, rock or pop beat. One, two, three. Now the problem is with 3-4, if we're going to try to play that, well, after three beats it's going to go out of sync, isn't it? One, two, three, one. It, won't, it won't feel right. So what changes could we make? Well, again, there's a number of ways we could do it. Probably the most popular way, I reckon, amongst my students is to go kick drum on beat one, snare drum on beat two, snare drum again on beat three. All the while keeping the, again, depends on the music, but probably keeping the eighth note pulse uh, quavers nice and solid on the hi-hat or the ride. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. As you can probably work out, there are definitely other ways of doing it. How about kick, kick, snare for one, two, three. 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 And so on. You could do kick, snare, kick. or some combination of. 
if the music's faster, or if it just seems appropriate, you could always just play quarter notes on the hi-hat as well. One, two, three, one, two, three. I would say on the whole, more often than not, what works well is playing the eighth note thing. When you get to your drum fills, the big thing is you've got to play three beats in the bar. Now, when we start off playing the drums uh, at the beginning, well, almost everybody does, certainly in these lessons, you start off just playing in four, four, right? Four beats to the bar, nice, basic, most popular feel for rock and pop, you know, contemporary music. So what happens is we get a bit conditioned to, like one, two, three, four. So it does take a bit of thinking, and it's not necessarily going to be instinctive for most people at first to just play three beats in the bar. Um, if you're struggling to get into it, one great way to start is if you think about a very basic drum fill, certainly when you, if you can for lessons here, like right at the start, your first drum fill would be... <laughs> things of this sort, so you, you know, simple as playing each beat of the bar on a different drum as you go around the kit. Say that your first drum fill was quavers, eight notes. One and two and three and four and... Well, a really simple way of getting into three beats in the bar rather than four, just miss out one of those. For example, if you've got a five-piece, classic five-piece kit, miss out the mid-tom. One, and two, and three, and to uh, expand out a little bit. Put some variations in, do your own thing, mix up the note values a bit. One, two, three. One, two, If you've got a metronome, stick one on, uh, ideally with a, the, something to identify beat one. A lot of metronomes now will either say the numbers for you or they'll give you a different type of sound on beat one. So that'd be a great way of doing it. Play round and round, man. Three bars of groove, one bar of fill. Get comfortable. There's no substitute here for time spent just playing in three beats in the bar, having a little play around with it. Um, obviously, when, by the time you get to performing this, you know, we're looking to expand beyond you know, one, two, three, but it's a good place to start, man. And so much of playing the drums when you're getting going is about getting a feel for things. And that might hopefully uh, give you a little feel for things. Right, so here's some examples. Three, four, a uh, ballad feel. One, two, three. One, two, three. at first I would say just get something reliable going in 3-4 because that's the thing and the music could even be a little distracting at first just get something happening where you know it's every drum fill is one two three back in again and then you'll be in business and like everything else once you're there you can just play enjoy yourself and uh, it's only going to get better over time hope that all makes a bit of sense the thing to watch out for with these as well is there's two bars counting at least on all the examples in the book and stuff there are so if you're in 3-4 uh, that will go one two three, 
One, two, three, as in six clicks in total, three for each bar, and then you play your first note. If you're in 4-4, four, four, it's a little different. It's still two bars counting, but it's phrased as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you're in. So two bars counted in both cases, but three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you're off. If you're 4-4, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So have some fun with it. Hopefully that sums it up. Remember, country music, it's all about just using your ears, really. You don't really know what's going to fit. Um, till you've heard it, and then experiment, man. There might not be one right answer. Uh, ballad feel, pop feel, rock feel. You can even combine them. Uh, go with what, what you think sounds good. Don't overplay it. Keep it simple. Support the music. Let the uh, singer tell their story, which is how country music works. And then, um, yeah, if it's in 3-4 for any of those styles, just play around with it. Keep it nice and, t nice and uh, straight in the groove. One, two, three. One, two, three. Start off with simple fills, maybe snare, high tom, floor tom on beat one, two, and three. Build it from there. Hope that all makes a bit of sense. Any questions, give us a shout. See you soon. Thanks a lot.